Would you like to invest in a company with a secular growth path? Would you like to own stock in one of the highest quality businesses in the world? There are certain inevitabilities in this world and companies that cater to the inevitable have clear long-term secular growth patterns. Would you like to invest in a business like this and collect growing dividends in the process? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this company is providing products that cater to inevitable need. In fact, they have an order backlog of almost $90 billion. That's how in demand their products are. I've personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. Best of all, the stock looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I want to share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of General Dynamics Corporation, which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. General Dynamics Corporation, stock ticker GD, is a global aerospace and defense company. Founded in 1899, General Dynamics is now a $40 billion company by market cap that employs over 100,000 people around the world. Some of their major platforms include the Stryker Combat Vehicle, Abrams Tank, the Virginia-class nuclear-powered submarine, and Gulfstream Business Jet. In addition, they offer a suite of IT services. Fiscal year 2019 sales are broken up across the following business segments. Aerospace 25%, Marine Systems 23%, Information Technology 22%, Combat Systems 18%, and Mission Systems 12%. Revenue for fiscal year 2019 breaks down geographically as follows, 83% North America, 17% ex-North America. When I think of secular growth, there are a few themes that come to mind faster than sovereign defense. Human conflict has been around since, well, human beings. From flint spears to submarines, armament and defense has been a characteristic trait of human society, for better or worse. We've been reminded of that with rising tensions between the US and China of late. As investors, we can clearly see the secular growth path for companies that cater to sovereign defense. General Dynamics is one such company. In fact, they're one of the largest defense contractors in the world, manufacturing a range of large weapons that can't be easily replicated by a competitor. Furthermore, their $9.6 billion acquisition of CSRA back in 2018 turned it into one of the largest provider of IT services to the US government. In a world where warfare is becoming increasingly digital, General Dynamics has positioned itself well. Meanwhile, with the Gulf Stream business, General Dynamics is somewhat less reliant on US defense spending than some of its peers. The aerospace business gives General Dynamics diversification into unrelated commercial markets and it offers some stabilization if, when, U.S. budgetary crises or U.S. Department of Defense spending pressures occur, although commercial aerospace is almost certainly going to be weak during the pandemic. However, seeing as how the U.S. last passed a massive $738 billion defense spending bill, I don't see any U.S. Department of Defense spending slowdown on the horizon, even with all the additional debt taken on to support the U.S. economy after pandemic-induced shutdowns. In fact, the contracts for General Dynamics keep on coming. The DOD awarded the company's CSRA business a $7.6 billion cloud contract back in August 2019. Then the company won a $22.2 billion contract from the U.S. Navy in December for construction of nine Virginia-class submarines. These aren't contracts that just up and disappear because of our current health crisis. If anything, these contracts are made to be even more certain and valuable during precarious times. Their unique size and positioning across key platforms ensures future profit and dividends. As it sits, the company has increased its dividend for 29 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate is a stout 10.4%, with a payout ratio of only 37.1%. This is one of the most secure dividends you'll find. That double-digit dividend growth comes on top of the 3% yield the stock is offering. This yield is much higher than what the broader market will give you. Moreover, it's more than 100 basis points higher than the stock's own five-year average yield. It's a compelling dividend story. Looking at business growth, the company grew its revenue from $32.466 billion in fiscal year 2010 to $39.350 billion in fiscal year 2019. 
That's a compound annual growth rate of 2.16%. I usually like to see a mid-single digit top line growth rate from a mature company like this. They did fall slightly short due to some stalling around the middle of the decade. Much of that was related to budgetary issues such as the US fiscal cliff. Earnings per share increased from $6.81 to $11.98 over this period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 6.48%. That's a little more like it. A combination of improving profitability and share buybacks helped to propel that excess bottom line growth. The outstanding share count is down by approximately 24% over the last 10 years. Looking forward, CFRA is projecting that General Dynamics will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 9% over the next three years. They cite the huge backlog, which is $86 billion, and that was up 24% year over year in fiscal year 2019 for the first quarter. And they also cite overall volume improvement as key drivers of the growth. But travel restrictions will hurt the Gulfstream business jet over the near term. I think a 9% bottom line growth rate from General Dynamics is reasonable, if just slightly aggressive. They don't really need to generate that kind of bottom line growth in order to hand out generous dividend raises, however. With the low payout ratio, even mid-single digit bottom line growth, more in line with what the last decade provided, would be more than enough to allow them to raise a dividend in the high single digit range for years to come. If General Dynamics is able to grow at a 9% rate, that'd be even better. And dividend raises somewhere around 10% or so for the foreseeable future would be easily possible. Moving over to the balance sheet, the company is in solid financial condition. The balance sheet did take a hit from the CSRA acquisition, which saw General Dynamics exchange debt for growth, but they simply moved from excellent financial health to just very good financial health. The long-term debt to equity ratio is 0.66, while the interest coverage ratio is just under 10. Profitability is robust. The company regularly posts outstanding numbers for its industry. Over the last five years, the firm has averaged annual net margin of 9.27% and annual return on equity of 27.18%. This is a high quality company with a secular growth path and they have durable competitive advantages to protect the business. Those include scale, geopolitical relationships, technological know-how, switching costs, and barriers to entry. Of course, there are risks to consider. Competition, regulation, and litigation are omnipresent risks in every industry. There is limited competition in many of its business lines. However, the company faces a lot of regulation. The company's commercial markets will likely be pressured for the near term, hurting the delivery of Gulfstream business jets. This is the more cyclical side of the company's revenue stream. General Dynamics is also sensitive to changes in the US DOD budget. Overall, I see it as a wonderful business and it's particularly appealing investment idea at this time after a 16% year-to-date drop in the stock's price. The stock is trading hands for a price-to-earnings ratio of under 13. This is much lower than the broader market. It's also materially lower than the stock's own five-year average PE ratio of 17.6. If we look at cash flow, there remains a huge gap. The price-to-cash flow ratio is currently near 14, which compares extremely favorably to the stock's three-year average P to CF ratio of 21.6. And the yield, as noted earlier, is significantly higher than its recent historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 7.5%. This dividend growth rate is lower than what General Dynamics has generated over the last decade. With a low payout ratio and an estimate for 9% near-term earnings per share growth, I think the company is in a great spot to put out high single-digit dividend raises for years to come. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $189.20. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all of its future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value of money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates General Dynamics as a four-star stock with a fair value estimate of $187. CFRA rates General Dynamics as a five-star strong buy with a 12-month target price of $203. I came out very close to where Morningstar is at. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $193.07 which would indicate the stock is possibly 28% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. General Dynamics Corporation is a high quality company with a secular growth path, which should ensure higher profit and dividends over the long run. With a 3% yield, almost 30 consecutive years of dividend raises, double digit dividend growth, a very secure dividend, and the potential that shares are 28% undervalued, dividend growth investors should be seriously considering buying the stock right now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
give us a like if you did. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, be sure to check the description box below for some additional links and important information. I'll see you next time.